Hi class, uh, welcome to our discussion on the essay for this week. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of break down the prompt uh, for you. Uh, if you notice that there are three main parts to it, um, those should be used to kind of help guide you in the brainstorming and the writing process of this essay. So let's get right into it. Um, all right, so number one, uh, this is, I think, a good sort of place to look for possible body paragraphs, right? So these are items or ideas you should consider before you choose your story and even after you choose your story. Um, like I said, you know, one of these uh, bullet points uh, could easily be turned into a paper, maybe a body paragraph, maybe, um, you know, you take a couple of the bullet points and use those to help kind of focus your body paragraphs. It's kind of up to you. Um, and depending on what, uh, you know, bullet points you choose. So basic, let me just kind of focus on one. Um, one of the things we could do in terms of like thinking about body paragraphs is number four about characters not being static. You know, you maybe can analyze the uh, actions that they take and their, how the author characterizes them in the beginning, how those actions or the conflict develops the character. Um, and so that, that's one possibility there. Um, you can maybe talk about characterization. Uh, that seems like something you could do in the third bullet point. Um, and I have a little discussion on characterization in the previous announcement. So if you don't remember that or didn't watch that, that's something maybe you want to kind of go back and look over. Uh, the point here is, if you notice in the bullet points, is to really think about characters and character development and characterization and also theme. And so those are going to be kind of the primary concerns. So one of the things I mentioned is doing this before you write. So just kind of think about all the stories we've read over the past two weeks and think about how, you know, characterization worked, what characters were interesting to you, what themes were interesting to you. That sort of thing can help you thinking about this, um, these stories then actually pick one and then kind of do more of a deep dive into it, okay? Now, I made a joke at the, well, uh, I'll call it a joke uh, if we're being generous here, <laughs> at the end of the last video, talking about I'll see what mood you're in. Um, the reason that uh, is hilarious is that uh, if you look at the stories, we can pick from the life and death unit or the love unit, again, whatever mood we are in or whatever you responded to is fine. Um, now, once you've thought about those bullet points, you picked your story, maybe even thought about those bullet points once again, then that's where our thesis is gonna kinda come into play. And so if you notice in three, we're getting the instructions on what the thesis should be. Uh, create a unified analysis of your chosen story's theme or characters, right? Um, and so one of the things we might want to think about in terms of this particular type of analysis is that it's connected together. So while I think the theme is hugely important to this paper, the characters are also something that's going to be very important as well. And so one of the things you can maybe do is think about how those things relate or interact with one another. And so that's where characterization, the concept that I talked about earlier this week, might come into play. All right, um, so the one thing, other thing I just want to mention is, you know, to provide evidence um, and also define the terms, uh, whatever terms, if you use them, um, even if it's, you know, something like theme. Um, and so the evidence parts can always get a little tricky and I, at this point, I think I've talked to most of you about things like quote sandwiching, um, it, in some fashion or another, whether I shared it in like feedback or, or some, some other sort of area of the course. 
And so if this is something you want to talk about in more detail, we can talk about how to develop that evidence in relation to our thesis, if that's something you want to kind of go over in more detail. All right. Um, the only other thing I just want to say in terms of requirements, you know, make sure you have a hook that really grabs the reader's attention. Maybe you can talk about theme in general or what themes do or, or just your story specific theme to kind of grab our attention. Um, or maybe even start with characters. That's up to you. Um, but when we're looking at our introduction that we want to have a sort of um, connection between the theme and characters and the story you picked so that when we get to your thesis that it makes sense. Um, all right, yeah, other than that, I think that that's, that's all I wanted to say about this. Um, thank you so much for your hard work. Um, and if you have any questions about this essay, please let me know. Um, today, uh, when this goes up, you'll have a couple more days to write the paper. If you want me to look at the paper before it's due, please send it to me by Friday with a specific question of something you would like me to answer. That way I can get it back to you by Saturday or Sunday morning and you have time to revise the paper uh, before the due date. Um, all right, thank you again so much and I will talk to you next week. Bye.